Hello people. Oh, it's Paul Green off back again. Doing a fucking uh, I keep swearing I can't help it. If you like it, you just like it. You don't like it, you don't like it. Don't watch the video, innit? I'm not being funny, just so you know it is. Just let me dinner fucking do the stuff now. So I'm gonna get into a bit of detail, alright? I'm gonna start off when I first went to jail. I didn't expect to go to jail at all. I was working down um, South Wales Cochrane, yeah, but I was on tag, cut my tag off, yeah, went to court, let me off of it, back on tag again, for fuck it, cut my tag off again, went down Cochrane, come back, got a court date, went to court, yeah, with my mum took me, I was only 17, anyway, so I was, I was on tag anyway for smashing a car up, it's only a kid, didn't it, smashing kids' car up, just being a fucking idiot, so anyway, I went to court, yeah, me and my mum went there. I thought, oh, I'm just going to get another tag, innit? You know, because my record wasn't bad. So, um, anyway, judges were saying what they were saying. And they deliberated. They said, we'll go back out, come back in and we'll give a verdict. So, fucking, they've come back in. Next minute, like, look behind me. Seeing two guards coming in, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck, I'm going to jail here, mate. I was fucking shitting myself. I was 17 years of age, yeah, about fucking 10 stone, yeah. Shitting my undies. And they went, Mr. Green off, was sentencing you to six months, do three. I was like, what? What? What for cutting my tag off to go to work, to earn money, to live? A fucking proper job, not burgling, not selling drugs, or fuck all. So, yeah, you give me fucking tag for a fucking smash car. Just give me more tag or community service or anything. No, we, we, we're sending you to jail. So my mum was like crying in the back, yeah? Fucking, I'm not gonna lie, yeah? I fucking did have tears, do you know what I mean? And they took me down, took me down into the fucking basement of the court, yeah? And then I didn't know what was going on because I didn't know anything about jail, do you get what I mean? I was fucking, I was like, I was in tears a bit. Not in tears, but I was like, oh, crying. I was in tears. I was fucking shitting me underpants. Because I thought I was going to stole Keith. Even though I had boys in there, I thought I was going to stole Keith, yeah? Because that's where you go from Mould Court when you're a fucking GV. You go to Mould Crown Court, yeah? Um, but, um, you go to Stoke Keith Prison. So I thought, oh, it's not too bad anyway. So when you go down, they um they, they got you go into like a little room and then they like take your names properly and your address and ask you if you're suicide if you're ever self harmed and go through loads of stuff with you do you know what I mean and then um once they do that they put you in the holding cell and that's it then you know you're going to fucking prison you're in that holding cell and it's like dead small and cramped and seventeen years of age little skinny kid like that shitting myself I'm not joking I'm I'll admit it right. So anyway, the bus comes for us, yeah? Um, I get on the bus, it's like, is there anyone else come with me? They went, no, you're the only one going. But we're going to Chester to pick a few lads up. I thought, oh, marvellous. I hope someone's coming with me. So uh, we've gone to Chester now, yeah? There was a bus full of six of us. So, no, there was me, and then we picked five up, do you know what I mean? So I thought, yeah, bossy, we're all on the bus. But I was with one lad that's not been to jail. And the other four were all like, yeah, blood, yeah, man, we're going down with fucking Stoke Keith mad this, yeah, fucking smash this kid in that. But I was like sitting in the sweatbox, fucking shitting myself, thinking, what have I got into here, mate? You know what I mean? I thought, I wasn't like game. I was, I was game then, back then, but not as game as what I got on further on through my sentences. I was a bit fucking, like, a bit nervous, like... I'd obviously, if someone tried it on, I'd have it with them, but I wasn't that game back then. Do you get what I'm saying? So anyway, we picked the lads up off chest there. We're on route to Stoke Keith now. So we get to Stoke Keith. They were like, um, there's no room here for, there's, we've only got four spaces. This is at fucking like half seven at night now. We've only got four spaces, yeah? So fucking, I was the only unlucky one, and a lad from Ellesmere Port, He'd not been to jail either, do you get me? So anyway, fuck him. Um, they ended up taking me and into a place called Wellington House, yeah? That's actually in Stoke. Do you know what I mean? Stoke Heath Jail, yeah? Is in Market Drayton in Stropshire. So Wellington House, Juvenile Jail, is actually in Stoke on Trent itself. Do you get me? So anyway, it took us there. And then um, we've got in, done all the fucking routine as you, as you do. Do you know what I mean? Strip searches. 
go to see the doctor, see if you've got mental health issues and do you need any medication and go through everything, do you know what I mean? And then um, they give you your clothes, like your jail, we was in jail clothes back then, innit? Oh, I had some shit clothes, mate. I had about t size 12 trainers, yeah? Fucking massive jeans, yeah, that were hanging off me. I had to get me laces, yeah, cut them a bit, yeah? And string me fucking jeans up, and then I had these fucking blue tops on that were ripped. Oh, mate, it was rough when I first went in. I thought, what have I gone into? But they put me on this wing, me and this lad, because there was no room on the induction wing. They put me down in the block, but back then, the block, yeah, it was about, on one side, four pads, yeah, for the block, because the jail's only small. A, the induction, and then you've got, no, A and B is the main wings, and C is the induction, yeah, and Wellington House. Anyway, so they put us in this pad, yeah, me and this lad, I thought, oh, this is costly, mate. But they put us on, like, the enhanced bit, do you know what I mean? Because there's no room upstairs. I thought, wow, this is gusty. Anyway, get out the next day. Oh, it was lovely, mate. I thought, yeah, if this is fucking three months of this, this is bloody lovely, mate. Anyway, went on, went and done all my inductions and all that. But as I walked into the main jail, because you walk out of this wing, you walk into the main jail. Like, I'm not racist or nothing, so if I say the word black, I'm not racist. I've got loads of black friends, yeah? Anyway... I was looking around, mate, and there was kids, mate, that were six foot tall, fucking animals, like that, arms on them, like I thought, what, I'm not in a fucking 15 to 18 jail here, and the whole jail was fucking black, mate, I'm not joking, nothing coming, burning coming out, fucking black, I thought, what the fuck, I said, when I go onto one of these wings, mate, I am going to get fucking terrified, mate, but I've got a bit of banter about me, so, that's what I think kept me on good fucking terms in that jail anyway get on to it right so fucking i've gone do me induction i was on this custody induction wing but not an induction wing it was like it, um like i said enhanced yeah so um kept on air for about three days and then it comes to us and said mr green off mr finley you're moving on to b wing so i thought oh fuck so that was it then that was when real when it really hit me you're on it that was when it really fucking hit me, mate. I thought, this is it, I'm going into the jungle. And at night time, because where, where my pad was at night time, yeah, like the wings were there, and you could hear them shouting every night, like, yo, I'm going to fucking smash you in the morning, I'm going to cut you, you're getting kettled, this, that, and the other, don't give a fuck, blood man's going to fucking do you, blood. I was like, what the fuck, mate? I couldn't sleep, yeah, I'm not lying, I, I'll be honest with you. I wasn't fucking lying, mate, I was shitting myself, yeah? Anyway, right, I don't want, I'm on seven minutes already, I want to do 15 minutes. I think I'm going to have to do about fucking 20 parts to my fucking whole jail life. Because I'm just going on. Anyway, this is it. Move us over to the wing. Carry our little shopping bags and that. Bits and bobs and that, yeah? And then they said, you're in pad. I think it was B22, yeah? So I've gone in there, yeah? Lucky enough, I was... No, I'm not racist or nothing, but lucky enough, there was another white guy from Norwich, yeah? I'm just going to mention his name anyway because he's a fucking sick member. Well, he is now, but he wasn't, because he knows what he'd done to me, but I'll explain that in a minute. Anyway, fucking, they put me in with him, I got padded up with him. So, fucking, as the week's gone by, just going to work, got um, gambling every day with all the black lads, having bands, they were fucking brilliant. Ryan McDevitt and Kyle Perry and all that from Knots and that, yeah, fucking sick lads, yeah. They had the jail on lockdown, yeah. But I used to just, I was on the brick workshop, we can play cards every day. It was rough in there, don't get me wrong. Seen some serious sick fights, yeah. But that jail, it was nothing compared to the rest of my jail life. Anyway, I'm going to be honest to you now, yeah. I don't give a fuck who watches this or says anything. I'm just, what I'm saying is 100% honest about everything. I was padded up with that lad Bannigan, yeah. I don't care if he watches this. He'll know we were kids at the time. Uh, he was a bit bigger than me. I was up with him for about three weeks. We had a lovely cell. I was getting, um, I'm not going to lie, I was getting burn on visits and that, yeah? And I was selling me burn for fucking like a fiver for a burn, yeah? Fucking with a Rizliff. And uh, you get like uh, shower gels. When you're a kid, you want loads of shower gels and pops and that to do your pad up. So on visits, I was getting fucking balls of fucking burn. Never been in jail before, but I'm a little bit of a fucking, you know what I mean, a grafter and that, yeah? So anyway... 
um, and I was getting a little bit of rocky in back in back in oh five. Yeah, everyone smoked rocky in it. I was getting a bit of rocky in, but me and my padmate smoked that. Anyway, he started fucking bullying me, you know. Like I'll be honest to you, he started fucking bullying me, mate. Yeah, and um, like he, he did fucking. I I didn't know what to do. I was a kid, man. I wasn't. I was I was a little bit scared, didn't it? And he was like punching me, and I was trying to fucking bully me, and you know, just being a fucking absolute helmet. So I just fucking lost the plot, yeah? I just lost the fucking plot, mate. I smashed the pad up, yeah? I went mental. And Kyle Bannigan from Northwich, if you watch this, you'll know we're mates now because we've seen each other further on. I went fucking mental, mate. 17 years of age, never been in jail. Fucking ripped the pad off, got the fucking door, yeah? Fucking got me brushed like I was smashing the door. I said, you screws better come in here and I'll take me out of here. I'm gonna fucking have it with yous. I went fucking mental. I'm not joking, he fucking shit himself. And, like, if any of his mates know Kyle Bannigan, I speak to him now, we're safe. We were kids at the time. Things happen, don't they? So, anyway, that was it then. I was waiting for him. I was fucking jumping on the bed, jumping down, fucking raring to go. Fucking smashed the glass next minute. Well, not next minute, about an, half an hour to an hour later, yeah. Um, they come in with a Mufti squad. Fucking had it with them big time. Fuck, I was dead small and wiggly one I fucking pushing them off, this, that, the other. They ended up twisting me up, yeah, fucking putting me in my fucking strengths and that, yeah, because I was trying to bite them and that. And, um, yeah, so fucking, they took me down the block, yeah. And um, kept me down the block for a week. Oh, man, I'd never been in jail before. I was 17 years of age, like some fucking little... I was just a little kid, man, do you know what I mean? An innocent little kid. Well, I was a bit naughty and that, do you know what I mean? But I was innocent. So that was the start of my ruthless jail days. Honestly, it was fucking exciting as well. I'm not going to lie, it was exciting, the rush that I was having with them. Because it, it took four of them to fucking have me. And I was fucking... They couldn't do me, mate. And all the floor was slippy and that. They were falling. It was fucking mint, lad. So anyway, went down the block for seven days, yeah? And um, I ended up coming back on the wing, yeah? And obviously, fucking all the boys were like, yeah, man, what's happening, brother? But I ended up going in a single pad. They put me as high risk, yeah? So, fucking, from that, I got a bit of a fucking, like, not reputation, but, like, all the kids on the wing were like, fucking, yeah, this kid's fucking, he's gaming shit, do you know what I mean? So then, I started fucking grafting a bit more burning. Like, making a bit of money then, do you know what I mean? I'm only fucking 17, first time in jail. No one I know, yeah? Oh, big shout out to Keto, yeah, from fucking Fazakli as well. Sick, man. Sick, sick fucking man. He fucking had it with about 20 screws, mate, yeah? In the, in the, in the fucking top bit of the wings, yeah? Like, the, the A wing and B wing, yeah? And in the middle, they've got, like, these rooms where you go and chill and that. He had it, yeah, smashed the room up with weapons, yeah? And fucking had it with about 20 screws on his own, but he was a big kid, yeah? He'd obviously been training hard. All them juveniles training hard as fuck, mate. Oh, they're massive, mate. I'm not joking. They're, like, fucking 16 years of age and fully grown men. And anyone that watches this will know if they've been the juveniles, all juveniles go fucking massive, yeah? So Keto, yeah, he smashed the pad up and had it large with them screws. Yeah. So um anyway, I got high risked off. Fucking I only had a few weeks left there, yeah. So fucking just done my jail, just chilled out. Oh, that was another one. We were going to the gym, yeah. And um I was with Ryan McDevitt and that he's in jail now somewhere because I've seen it in the paper the other day. He's a sick man as well. Ryan McDevitt from Notch, yeah. If I'm if I'm naming people, I'm not naming them, grassing them up and I'm naming them. Because they're fucking sick kids from that I've been in jail with, do you know what I mean? This is my first jail. Don't forget, I've been in jail 14 times, yeah. Fucking, it's fucking... They, I haven't even started yet, but I'm on 14 minutes, do you know what I mean? Don't know how long it takes to download these videos, and if it's too long or if it's too much. Anyway, so I had about three weeks left, yeah. Fucking, and I um, went to the gym. Fucking doing a bit of fucking fitness, and I didn't really get into the weights. But when you go to the gym, you go to the gym with a, peop a few people off A, B and C, do you know what I mean? You get your name down for this time, that time. So anyway, you've gone to the gym, but you go in the gym door, yeah? And you walk up the stairs, and then it's like, you've got to wait then for the screws to fucking come to the, this door. And then, like, mark you off one by one. So you're in a big group, yeah? 
Next minute, my mate got fucking slide from the side. Don't forget, I'm 11 stone fucking like a stick, mate. My mate got slide by this fucking big black lad, yeah? Fucking on the slide, bro, yeah? And fucking snapped his chin. Literally fucking done him. So I just fucking run over him. Rugby tackled him. And anyone that was there, McDevitt, Kyle Perry from Knott, fucking... Um, I can't think of anyone else's names because it was 2005. Kyle Bannigan, the bully, but he's my mate now. He was there, he's seen it, so I fucking run over here. Rugby tackled this big black kid, yeah? So he's fell to the floor now, so that fucking wall the fuck out of him, yeah? And next minute, his mates come from the side, fucking kicked me, yeah? And then obviously, my other mates come over, fucking whacked him, yeah? Or oh, it went off, bro, it went off, yeah? And then obviously, the, the fucking screws come and twisted us all up, and fucking, that was it again, money. And then, um, I can't fucking remember 2005 that much, it's hard. As soon as I get further on in my videos, yeah, then that's when I, like, fucking know. And the screws in there was sound. Like, fucking, I thought all my life, yeah, if I go to jail, screws are going to be like this. They tra treated us like fucking school kids, if you get what I mean. The food was lovely in there. Fucking, you got looked after in there, and the canteens were sick. And obviously I had everything because I was get I was smashing the visits in it, and I don't give a fuck if the police watch this. You can't do shit to me. What you gonna do? Nick me for fucking get grabbing burn off someone in two thousand and five. Sit on that. So anyway, I might wrap this video up. That's just my first time in jail. Yeah, that's just the stories what I can remember from two thousand and five. Don't forget, like I've done fourteen jail sentences, so I don't know if fucking. I should shorten them up, or because I've got too much to say, so I don't know, like, fucking how I'm going to do it. I'll have to speak to Cody and see what he says about it, because I want to get everything out. I want to tell my story from the start to the finish. Do you know what I mean? I've admitted I got bullied when I first went in. That was the first and fucking last time I got bullied. Believe me, I promise you, I was a game kid in jail. And every, I, have, I don't have to hide my face. My name is Paul Greenoff. I'm from fucking North Wales. People will watch this and they'll know me. And they'll know I was a fucking game fucking motherfucker. Not from my last two sentences. Because my last two sentences, I grew up a bit. That was, that was just about making food. Do you know what I mean? To get out and have a nice life. Do you get what I mean? I was on it, clever. Don't, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man. I'll wrap it up, yeah? Take it easy, kid. See you later, son.